Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Gold Prospecting at Home. This is episode number 90, and today I have a very large bag of pay dirt from Montana from a company called Montana Prospector. Now this pay dirt was sent to me by a fan during this fan mail video. You can open that in another tab and watch it if you'd like to, but you can see me open the box and there's no note or anything in it, and the return address is from Montana. So I'm not 100% sure if this was sent to me by the vendor or not and you probably guessed I don't like to do pay dirts that were sent to me by the vendor so the reason I don't like to accept pay dirt directly from the vendor is because this is the biggest pay dirt review channel on YouTube and anybody can send me any kind of pay dirt with any amount of gold in it specifically for opening and reviewing on the show um, there's a big chance for biased reviews happening here and this video is possibly gonna be one of them just wanted to let you guys know about it, but it's a 20 pound bag of pay dirt from Montana Prospector. This is the page right here. It costs $119.95. Oh, and by the way, um, I actually did a Montana Prospector video before. And in that video, I got a very low return on investment. Uh, that was 33%. So yeah, 33% return on investment from the original bag I did. Uh, this stuff here, it does not have a minimum gold amount guaranteed, which is another big red flag. It just tells you that you get approximately 30 pounds of pay dirt from one of the richest areas in Montana, and that he adds a small amount of gold to add to the deal. There is guaranteed gold, just not a minimum amount. So that is the most important thing. When buying any pay dirt, make sure there's a minimum amount of gold guaranteed in your product that you're buying. So anyway, um, I got this giant bag of pay dirt down at the Panda Station. I got a Dream Mat sluice box down there that we're gonna run some material through. And so, yeah, let's go down there, we'll chop it open, and we'll take a closer look at it. Okay, here it is, the 20 to 25 pound bag of Montana Prospector Gold Nugget pay dirt. Let's take a look at it in a pan. Nice. Okay, let's cut this thing open. It is secured with a zip tie. And I did notice that there's condensation on the inside of the bag, which means that this stuff was shipped either damp or wet. All right, interesting. I mean, it actually smells really organic and earthy. It doesn't smell like river gravels at all. I think it's closer to like topsoil, and it does have a little bit of moisture still in it. So the first thing we want to do is classify this stuff down to like plus and minus quarter inch, I would say, and then everything under quarter inch, we can run through the sluice box, and everything over, we can just pan by hand or just pick through it and pick out, hopefully, some nuggets. Okay, so here we have a quarter inch Arbor Fabricating Classifier. We're gonna put this in the bucket just like this. As you can see, this is the smaller version. It only has the two tabs. The bigger ones have three tabs and they're a little bit bigger. But there's links in the description for these if you want them. I'll go ahead and pour this pay dirt through. And we're gonna to need to wet classify this to make sure that we wash off all the bigger rocks and break up some clumps of dirt and stuff. So we'll just run water over top of that. Well, I don't see any nuggets. All right, so here we have our plus and minus quarter inch. And as you can see over here, this stuff is just like mud. 
a lot of organics in it. Um, I was kind of expecting this to happen, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick through this and see if I can find any nuggets. I didn't see any and I'm not expecting to, but I'm still gonna check it. And then of course we're gonna run this through the sluice box and then we'll pan out the tailings. So we didn't find any gold nuggets in this plus quarter inch size, but if we would have found one about that big, that would have paid for the entire $120 plus some. I mean, something like that, you're looking at three, 400 bucks, easy. So I'm about halfway done running this uh, minus quarter inch stuff through the Dream Mat sluice box. And I think it's time to clean up, do a cleanup of the sluice box, and then we can run the rest of this stuff after this is cleaned out. Because I'm pretty sure these are all full of black sand and we don't want to lose any gold. Um, I have a bilge pump speed controller over here, which is not waterproof by the way. So all I have to do is just turn that off Turn the knob all the way down, let's connect the hose, and we put it into a bucket and clean it out. Really got to run this thing full crank. Make sure it clears everything out. This is a lot faster than panning, that's for sure. And I'd say it's equally as relaxing. Pretty darn close. The cool thing about this dream mat is it does not produce a lot of concentrates, so it's only going to be maybe one pan at the very end. Okay, so after running that 18 pounds of pay dirt through the sluice box, minus the plus quarter inch material, this is what we're left with. Now, even though they advertise 30 pounds or 25 or 20 pounds, it actually only weighed 18 pounds. So it was a little bit underweight. That's not what matters though, it's the gold that's in it. So let's go ahead and we'll bring over Krusty Rusty. We'll add some water. And some jet dry. The jet dry is a surfactant that breaks the surface tension of the water so the really small gold can't float away. And we only have about that much. So you know what, I'm actually gonna pan this in two different runs. These concentrates are extremely heavy. Lots of black sands and hopefully a lot of gold. We're down to the black sands here. I don't see any flower gold yet. I don't see any gold yet. There's a, there's our first piece of gold right there. Actually, there's two pieces. Let me let me clean this up a little bit, and I'll show you. All right, let's pan this back and take a closer look at the gold. Just a 
few little flakes right there. It's probably like, I don't know, five bucks worth of gold. And this is half of the pay dirt, and that looks like five dollars worth of gold for $120. I don't think this was sent by the vendor. If it was sent by the vendor, they usually add a lot more to make it look good, but that's that's pretty terrible. I'll just grab it with the snuffer bottle. All right. All right, I'll do the other half here. Hopefully we get a whole bunch of gold. Because so far it's looking like, uh, you know, 10% ROI or less. The other one I did was 33%, which is pretty average, um, it's, but it's still very bad. That's why it's important to always make sure that any pay dirt you buy has a minimum amount of gold guaranteed. Otherwise, you're going to get hosed like this. I'm happy to make these videos for you. I don't care if I get small amounts of gold. I'm just happy that you guys don't get stuck buying it. There's a little more gold in this half, but definitely not $120 or even half that or even close to half that. I mean, it looks pretty nice, but trust me, that's we'll, we'll dry it out and weigh it up and we'll get a value on it, but that does not look good. All right, let's pour out our snuffer bottle so you guys can see exactly what it looks like before I dry it out. And I'm gonna guess it's maybe 10, 15 bucks worth of gold, if we're lucky. So that's maybe a quarter gram. 0 0.25 grams, I would say. That's about 0 0.25 grams right there. Because none of these pieces are chunky or anything. They're just kind of flat. It's hard to tell on camera, but we'll dry it out, we'll weigh it up, and we'll get a value on it. $120 if you want to throw your money away <laughs> look at this 0.272 grams of 18 well we'll call it 24 karat purity because you can resell natural plaster gold just like this to pay dirt vendors like myself um, for pretty close to 24 karat value if you guys want to sell your gold uh, definitely send me an email a lot of you guys already figured that out and I've been buying gold off you guys like crazy but let's see what this is worth yeah sixteen dollars and thirty seven cents um, that's this amount for hundred and twenty dollars is the same amount that you can expect to find in my thirty dollar bag of beginner pay dirt but this video is not about my products this is about uh, another product that I want you guys to know about thanks again to the unnamed fan that actually sent this to me if you guys want to see that fan mail unboxing video where I actually got this pay dirt in the mail I'll put a link down below and you can click on that and you can watch the fan mail you guys send all kind of crazy stuff speaking of fan mail um, there's a pretty big update I'm actually going to be moving. Um, I actually purchased a house up in Blackhawk, Colorado. So check the description. My address is different. So if you guys are sending me stuff, I know I get a lot of fan mail. If you want to send me stuff, the address is now different. So definitely check that out. I'm excited about the new property and everything. It's like almost two acres on a gold claim up in Blackhawk, Colorado. A lot of projects we're going to be doing around the house, building a deck and everything. So it's going to be pretty cool. So if this video helped you guys out in any way, shape or form, please consider hitting the thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed and you're into treasure hunting, such as gold prospecting and metal detecting, scuba diving, world travel, all that kind of stuff, uh, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks again, everybody, for watching my video. It's much appreciated. I did notice that 73% of my viewers aren't even subscribers. So if you would like to make sure you don't miss any of my future videos, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.